All right, today we are making, we are trying smothered pork chops. We got about to marinate them buttermilk season. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm doing the garlic and onions right now. Up before they get lost. Let me rinse my hand. And you're what? Is it like around your? Uh, okay, I'm on. I'm, I'm on. Don't say nothing retarded. All right, onion, salt, garlic powder. Whole package, just dump the whole thing. Pepper. Hold on. What, babe? <laughs> All right. Some salt. We don't need too much. A little paprika. Flour. Mix it, mix it, mix it. All right, I gotta put more flour, but I got one dirty hand and one clean hand. All right, mix, mix, mix. Now, we are going to cover that up and put it back in the refrigerator until we're ready to cook dinner. It's early now, so we ain't cooking dinner no time soon, but you got to let that bitch marinate. All right, I'll do that. All right, now we are going to work on our homemade onion rings. We're going to try it two different ways. I don't like them really thick, so. Are you? So I'm gonna make mine really, really, really thin.
Hey, your mouth. All right, let me get my mixer. All right, one recipe is just going to be regular old onion rings. And the other one, you mix it in with the batter. So I'm going to see which one we like better. All right, I can't find my blender piece, so I can't use it. So we're just going to use this and hope it works. Okay, that's not working. Hold on. <laughs> we gotta make it to a paste. Where is my fucking chopper at, man? I can't. And it was my dad's, so I'm really salty about it. Can't find my chopper. Can't find my blender bottom piece. Not bottom piece. Top lid piece. Oh, hold on. Let me figure this out. All right, we're going to try this and see what happens. All right, we didn't find it, but my coffee grinder's working, so here we are. <laughs> All right, fucking success. Thank you, Jesus. All right, now we are at... We are gonna add... Half a cup of panko. Half a cup of regular. Probably a little bit more panko. And where'd I put the flour? Half a cup of flour. And mix it. Ah, uh, not in a long time. And that is our onion batter mix stuff. I'm gonna add a little water because it was a little too thick. Now we're gonna make them into rings and freeze them. And I'll be right back when we do that. I almost forgot the garlic powder and the salt. All right, I forgot garlic powder, and now I'm doing the salt. All right, now we're going to mix them again. And this is what it looks like. And I'll be right back when we're making rings. All right, I don't know how this is going to come out, but we're going to take our mix. Yeah? Is it the wipes box? Yeah. Then yeah. What? Is that it? What? Are those wipes? Yeah. No. What did he say? I think we don't have any. Alright. Are you talking about that? Julian, find the bag the wipes come in. I think, where is this? 
Alright, there's one, I guess. Alright, I'm just gonna do it with my hands. This is horrible. Good job not giving up. Right, you should do this right And you didn't give up, and you did so good, right? No! Oh yeah! Ow. Whatever. Whatever! Hey! What? Give him out. Alright, for this recipe, we need three fourths of a cup of flour and a quarter cup of cornstarch. Charge my phone too. Alright, so now we're gonna add quarter teaspoon of cayenne. What, baby? And regular pepper. He didn't just really say how much, so we're just gonna eyeball it. All right, now we're gonna get our whisk and mix it all. Now we're gonna add seltzer water until we have a nice little batter, which fortunate for us, that's all we drink is Red Bull and seltzer water. The seltzer water makes it really airy. And it has to be really cold. And look at that. I'll be back once I work out all the clumps. Alright, now we got our panko slash breadcrumb mixture. We are all mixed up. This is what our batter looks like. Now we are going to take our onion rings, y'all will probably be thicker because I like mine really thin, put them in, put a couple in, dredge them in the mixture, put it in the breadcrumb, dredge it in the mixture, put it in the breadcrumb, dredge it. Breadcrumb. Dredge it. Breadcrumb. Now we're going to shake it around. So we get all covered. And then we are going to move it to our wire rack. And I'll be back when they're all on the wire rack. Alright, we got those on. We're about to freeze those. And then we'll be back with our pork chops and onion rings. Alright, we got one there and one there. I'll be back when it's time to fry them and cook. You want to do those outside? Yeah. Alright, now we're going to make our chicken stock for our pork chop. Smother pork chops. I'll be right back. Let me get everything ready. We're going to bring that to a boil, add one cube and a little bit of this. So, so, so good. All right, we are boiling. We are going to beep and lower it. 
We are gonna, where'd my cube go? We're gonna undo our cube. Boop. And let it dissolve, and that will be our chicken broth. I was gonna deep fry the onion rings, but I don't have enough oil, so we're just gonna use a pan. We're throwing a little bit more flour in because we're getting ready to cook them. Hold on, I was about to stick my damn hand in there. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, it's pretty much dissolved. So we're just gonna put it to the side for now. We got our chicken stock, chicken broth. All right, our oil is going. We got half cup flour, half cup milk, half a teaspoon of salt, and we are about to get these onion rings going. All right, there's our batter, and now we're going to get the ones, not the ones with the onions in them, but the ones that we blended up. Hold on, I can't get it out. They are super frozen, so now we are going to take it, go into the batter, go into the breadcrumbs, and go straight into the oil. Then I'll show you when I get some done. All right, it's been a couple, about three or four minutes. They don't look horrible. We'll see how they taste. I've never done this before. All right, let me put this down so I can use two hands. All right, so we got a couple more there, and then we'll try our other ones, and then we'll do our pork chops. All right, all right, not too bad. They don't taste bad. Okay, let me find out. What, my love? All right, now let's get these babies out. We're gonna do them next, and then we're gonna do our pork chops. I can't wait for the pork chops. All right, you wanna try one, Ju? All right, now we're cooking the onion ones, the real ones. These are not bad, though. They came out. If you do it, I'm proud of myself. I don't really eat onion rings like that. All right, I'll be back. All right, let's try one of these. Mm. These are definitely way better. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, the second batch is done. They're so good, I can't stop eating them. I'm saving some for my mama both. I'm about to start our pork chops, my cheese fries. All right, we're taking our olive oil, letting it get hot. We got that canola oil heating up for the fries. Now we are gonna let that warm up and I'll be back. All right. That's going. All right, we're going to let that cook for a minute. We got a couple more in here. I'm about to put some fries in. Jeez, that shit look good. All right, I'll update soon. Let's see.
Well, I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. That shit is so fucking good. I don't even want to smother them. I just want to eat them like that. And I really think that's what the fuck we're gonna do, because that shit is fucking banging. Oh, my God. I can't, in good faith, after tasting how fucking good that is, make it soggy. We just gonna roll with this, because that shit is so... It's like, that by far, one of the best pork tops I've ever ate in my life. Seriously. But I'll update y'all. We ate all the onion rings, but cheese fries, pork chops, red bull, yummy.